Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th. We all know that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Five of Wands. Five of Wands is competition. Could be, you know, fighting, playing games, maybe, pettiness. King of Pentacles. Hmm. Seven of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups. Queen of Wands reversed. And yes, I've had this deck for a long time. It was in my drawer. It's not a new deck. Death reversed. Four of Wands reversed. Four of Cups reversed. So it looks like we have somebody here. We talked about this yesterday. We have the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. That is a new, that's love, okay? That was ignored, it was missed, it was, you know, it was ignored. It wasn't desired or somebody didn't want it. Now they want it. So there's definitely something to do with emotional fulfillment here that wasn't wanted or was ignored in the past that is now being accepted. This is interested, I want it, I'll take it. Um, somebody has been fighting it though. They may have been you know, pushing somebody away. They were pushing somebody away. Maybe there was another woman here or another man that was in the way. But I feel like now this is like a reality check. It's a golden opportunity. Uh, we have somebody here that um, is making a solid offer. This is somebody that is very loyal, likes to do things um, very practical, very responsible. Um, a planner, somebody, you know, we have somebody here that uh, may have been holding on to something for stability reasons. I got the four of pentacles on the bottom, but now it feels like this holding on is getting old. They were, this was a dead end, you know, and it, it was been over for a long time with another person. And this person may have been vindictive, may have been... Um, malicious in some way so that may have caused somebody to uh, not get engaged with with something that they were offered in the past there is there there is an offer that has been ignored that is now being accepted put it that way and it's because I feel like there's a commitment with another person that is being uh, you know, this this is the end of a commitment. This is uh, this is messy. It's been a messy situation. Somebody that may not have wanted to get somebody involved because they were involved in a messy situation, but the party is over now. Maybe they, you know, they didn't want to involve somebody in a third party situation. Maybe, you know, they didn't want to they didn't want to get too many people engaged. Maybe they they were fighting with somebody. It could be an ex. It could be a mother. It could be, you know, a friend or there's somebody who has been. Um, in a predicament with another person and they weren't completely released from that person but now I feel like the party is really 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 over the commitment is over and this is a this is an opportunity for emotional fulfillment I think we have somebody here that is making a solid genuine offer and that offer is going to be accepted it is going to be accepted or yeah, and I think there was a third party. I think there was somebody in the middle. There was it's like, it's like that monkey in the middle. There was somebody in the way, but I feel like the uh, you know that party is over, or it's over with the third party. This is this is admitting defeat. It's stepping down. It's definitely letting go, um, and it's probably been over for a long time. Uh, the King of Pentacles is very. Um, practical so it could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that is making an offer but it doesn't have to be whoever this person is uh, they think before they, and they move slow this isn't somebody who hurries into a decision this is somebody who thinks and plans you know their 
uh, future. You know, this is somebody that works really, really hard to build themselves up. They don't just make stupid mistakes. No offense or anything, but you know, I want to. I want to be very realistic and practical here. The King of Pentacles is somebody is receiving an offer, and it is going to be. Um, I think it's a surprise. I do think it is definitely a surprise because this person has been. Um, maybe this person has pushed pushed them away in the past. Because I see pushing away right here, you know. And maybe they had a lot of options. You know, there's a, there's a lot of competition. But I feel like the competition is being removed. This is the, I feel like it's the end of the competition. I'm done playing games. Somebody may have been playing with somebody that, you know, um, kept them on their toes, you know. They maybe involve them in a third party situation. We have the when we we have the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody throws fits, throws tantrums, you know, maybe very revengeful and manipulative, melodramatic. So I think that we have an individual that may have maybe have may have been you know, not wanting to involve anybody else while they were dealing with this person because this person acts in such a manner, you know. But with that four of wands reversed, that's that's like, uh, and it was messy, but the, the party is over. It's cleanup time or this is, you know, and maybe that's what they were doing. They were cleaning up that mess. But now this is a new beginning in love. So a new, a new heartfelt beginning. This is a offer of, of, of love that is right here. Okay, it's right, 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 right here. It's big too. I mean, the Ace of Cups is a new start in love. I mean, it's beautiful. That's a flood of emotion. It's the gateway to intuition. It is a beautiful new beginning. Okay. And and we talked about the Four of Cups yesterday. That is not wanting it in the upright. The Four of Cups is better in reversed. Okay, this is, I'll take it, I want it, I'm ready, you know. So this is, it's interesting that I did two readings yesterday. And the second one was this one. And, well, it was yesterday's, but it's very similar. So this is, uh, you know, I, I ta I'll take it. I, didn't, I may not have wanted it in the past because of this argument or this mess or the games that were being played with another person. But I want it now. So this is definitely I want it now. Um... This is a big opportunity for love. We may have somebody here that was forcing themselves into a person's life. You know, they were they were they were playing games, they were very very forceful. And that's why this person didn't didn't make any solid offers or, or you know, couldn't move forward. Knight of Wands reversed. Now the Knight of Wands reversed is um, overly competitive and forceful. Unbelievable. Somebody was being forced. They, it feels like we have an individual here that was not willing to let go of a commitment. The death reverse, not willing to release, not willing to let go, holding on. Somebody was holding on to a previous commitment or something where it's been over. It's been over for a while. They were unwilling, unwilling to let go. And that's what caused, that's what caused this delay. There's been a delay. But this, whoever this person is, um, and I think they were unwilling to let go because it was stable. You know, some people are so, uh, they can't take care of themselves. So they latch on to somebody that is financially stable. And they won't leave because they just, maybe they don't have the money to leave or they don't, they can't take, they don't want to be alone or whatever the case is. Somebody has latched on to a stable individual who has money by the looks of things. Or maybe it was just control issues. You know, when you get the Queen of Wands, you wear some. And I hate to say that for all you people that are out there, that's controlling energy. It's very extremely controlling. Ego. It is ego. So somebody would, maybe they just could not. I mean, the death card reverse is unwilling. It's, it's been over for a long time, but unable to release. 
and, and competition is huge here. We have a strong competitor that has not wanted this person to let them go. That's exactly what it is. But I feel like it's over. It's definitely over. And, and I feel like, um, you know, I, no, I, I want love. I want love. I'm looking for love. I'm looking for emotional fulfillment. I missed an opportunity for love. I'm going for that opportunity. I'm leaving the battle. I'm leaving these games behind. Somebody is leaving the game behind. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play this game. I'm not gonna deal with the competition. I'm not gonna compete with you. I'm not gonna fight with you anymore. Somebody's been dealing with somebody who likes to fight, and it's been really messy. But it's over. It is definitely over. Um, Knight of Wands reversed. This is this is somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. Okay. You see this lineup? This is an individual that it's, it feels, and, I, and I'm sorry, but it feels like it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody has fire, 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 fire. Somebody that has a lot of fire in their chart. You know, and what does fire need to survive? Attention. You know, it needs air. It, it, it does. All it needs is air. It needs, everybody looks at fire, okay? So, Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands reverse. This is a troublemaker. We have a troublemaker here, and that has is what has caused this person to delay. But this guy, whoever this person is, is very cunning and clever, and they know what they have to offer. And they've been they've been waiting to give something to somebody that they ignored because of this troublemaker. Somebody is going to be receiving an offer, and I don't know who it is. I mean, this this could be an it could even be a job offer. It could be money <clears throat> that is going to make them really really happy. I don't know if it's a job offer. It could be a love offer. It's going to make them really, really, really happy. Ooh, tower. This person's going to, somebody's getting a tower moment. They're about to get a rude awakening. Somebody's about to get a rude awakening. It's going to be a shock. There is going to be a massive change. Somebody could be getting thrown out. Definitely. Okay. Somebody could be getting thrown out. That is a necessary evil. That, that is things crashing down. That could be a fight that is happening. This is def definitely, that seems to be my new word, messy. Very, very, very messy. This is uh, explosive energy. This is starting with a clean slate. Somebody's going to be starting with a clean slate. They're going to be building a new foundation elsewhere. Because their current foundation is false. Okay? And there's no happiness there. There's no happiness. Because they've been controlled by another person. And they've had to walk on eggshells. And it's been a lot of fighting. And it's been over for a long time. And the universe, I mean, the, the, the tower is a universe card. Tower and the world are both universe cards. Is dismantling this false foundation. So yeah, I would say uh, there is going to be a massive change. And it definitely comes out of nowhere. This is very, very, very sudden. <laughs> what I wanted to say was blow their top. I think that somebody's going to blow their top, you know? Things are going to change really, really, really fast. We have a previous commitment 
or somebody has been forced in the and now it's like taking back control somebody has been forced it's almost like to stay it's interesting because um It feels like it, the, the party was good. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Anyhow, the, you know, the, this was, it may have been fun for a minute. Somebody got themselves into a false commitment. False sense of security. With an individual that, uh, I don't know, maybe this person has low self-esteem. You know, low self-confidence. Uh, very, very forceful, very, very competitive. They got themselves involved with somebody who likes to fight. Look at the, look at the fights. I mean, this is a highly in, competitive individual who just likes to fight. Anyway, things, things there's going to be a major shakeup. There's, there is. There's going to be a major shakeup and things are going to change. There could be a sudden departure here. Very sudden. Comes out of nowhere. We have an individual that has decided to go after emotional fulfillment. They're ready to fight. It feels like, you know what? If you want to fight, we'll fight. So there could be a fight. There there could be. There could be with the Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Tower card. Somebody could be fighting. It's like, you know what? You want to fight? We'll fight. So there could definitely be a fight here. I'm leaving. Or you're leaving. Somebody's leaving. <laughs> Anyhow, um, because there's another opportunity here. There is another opportunity that has been ignored. And that's bigger and brighter and more emotionally fulfilling and more stable and solid. So we have somebody here that is, is going to be, feels like taking it into their own hands. I know my value. The King of Pentacles is somebody that has a lot to offer. This is a hard worker that has built themselves up. I know my value. I know my worth. That's a King of Value. So yeah, this is somebody who, who is probably financially stable as well. Doesn't need to play with players. Doesn't need to play games. Doesn't need to fight. Doesn't need to be forced. Doesn't need to. Somebody's about to get a rude awakening. Things are about to... Gonna, somebody's going to blow up by the looks of things. This is like a blow up of some sort. One more card. Whoever this person is, is going to be shedding light on a situation to an individual that has been trying to force them into a commitment, trying to force a commitment, trying to force them to love them or something like that. And this could be a disaster. Okay, we have disaster, disaster, disaster. So this is a disaster. So I'm not sure what is going on, but we may have a disaster here. <laughs> you know, disaster, disaster, disaster. This is this is acting without thinking. This per somebody, this person right here, that when they get the news, you know, may pick a fight, and it could end in disaster. You're being honest. Knight of Swords. I mean, the Knight of Swords can be police. It can be the law. 
Okay, so I'm not sure what is going on, but I mean, this is a sudden arrival, a sudden departure, blunt, direct, honest communication coming through. This is somebody that is putting plans in action. This is like a shock. Somebody is about to be shocked. This is a shock and this is a shock. We also have somebody here that may be trying to make a getaway. You know, they're trying to get out of a situation. They want out and they want to go now and get out of my way. I want to say get out of my way. So there definitely could be a fight. There could be a fight. There could be an argument that, that happens because somebody's in a false sense of security and they want out. I do believe that swift, fast action is going to be taken. This may even feel like being under attack. I don't, you know, I don't know what is going on, but we have somebody here that likes to debate, you know, they like to fight, you know, and they're going to, they're going to get the shock of a lifetime. Somebody could get hurt. Want, somebody wants to win at all costs. This is a battle. It is a fight. It's a, I think there's going to be a fight on this day. And I, I don't think it ends well. I think that things are going to change really, 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 really fast. Get prepared. Okay? And I don't, I don't think you can prepare for this. I think it happens very, very suddenly. It could be a fight over money. You know, or control. Control could be an issue about who's in the top position. You know, who's who's in the top position. I mean, that's about the top position right there. That could be the fight. That could start it. You know, who's in control here? I do believe somebody's about to be taken down from their position. This is somebody that has a chip on their shoulder. may have to think fast on this day. Okay, somebody may have to think really fast. We have an individual that is in a hurry. They may be in a hurry to get out of a situation. And I do feel like it's in a hurry. They're in a hurry. This is somebody who knows what they want. Their decision has been made and they're going to be saying something very direct, very honest, very truthful. And what they're, what's going to happen is going to piss the person off that they're saying it to. That person is going to fight. You know, they're going to, they're going to debate or something like that. And it, it ain't good. It ain't good. So this is a sudden departure. It could also be a sudden arrival that shocks you. Could be either way. This could go, you know, we have somebody here that is, has suddenly departed from a previous commitment, you know, or maybe they've already departed the, the mess. Maybe they've already cleaned up the mess. It could go either way. It's been a messy situation and that could lead to a sudden arrival. Somebody just shows up. They show up with some communication. They may communicate, you know, they're done with the third party. That could be for some of you. There's definitely another person involved here that it's over with, okay? It's over with this person. It's been over for a long time. But because this person was so malicious, it caused a delay. So that could lead to an arrival or communication from somebody who now wants to, you know, a love offer that they ignored in the past. But whoever the person is that has been in the middle is about to get a rude awakening. I think everybody's going to get a rude awakening. Okay, I do. I think this is a shock. It's a, it's, a, it's a major change. Good luck.